Good morning. Well, today I'm making sugar cookies. My personal favorite. This recipe was given to me by my sister-in-law, Sharon, because every year at Christmas time, she would bring us a whole tin of them. They're just, they're one of the best sugar cookies I've ever eaten. And now they're not the type for rolling out and cutting and doing the decorations. It's not that kind of sugar cookie, but boy, is it good. Let's get started on Darlene's table. I'm starting with one cup of butter, one cup of regular sugar, and one cup of powdered sugar. Let's mix this well. And now I'm going to add the two eggs and blend well. and the cup of vegetable oil. Some vanilla. I'm starting to add the flour and I'm going to add the baking soda, cream of tartar, and salt. Put the flour in in uh, batches, thirds are fine. It's a lot of flour. All right, this dough is ready. On to sugar cookies. You can see how soft that dough is. That's why it's not good at all for rolling out and doing cutout cookies. But this is such a good cookie. It's just my favorite of all time, sugar cookies. And it makes so many. Okay, so we're going to top with the colored sugar. I'm putting one drop of vegetable oil on the bottom of my glass, and it does not mess up the sugar at all. When I'm done, I put the sugar, leftover sugar, back in their bags. Just press down somewhat. You can see I've left it pretty thick, and doing that one drop will usually do about three cookies, and then you have to put another drop on the bottom. So I decided to do Easter colors. So I'm doing blue, pink, yellow, and purple. I have to give most of these away because I can't stop eating them. They're so good. Into the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 14 minutes. It's going to depend on the size cookie you made. Sugar cookies. Easter is just around the corner, and these little jewels make great gifts and add so much to your cookie jar. They're really easy and fun to make. I think it would be a great project for you and your children to do together. And as a bonus, they are so good. Trust me, you have to try them. I want to thank my sister-in-law for this recipe. She makes these for gifts every year. Thank you, Sharon. Now go to DarlenesTable.com to find the recipe with all the ingredients so you can make this yourself. I'll put a direct link to it in the video description and comment. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if so, please give us a like and consider subscribing. That way you can keep up with what is going on right here on Darlene's Table.